What's going on, y'all? In this video, I'm going to be writing a cold email sequence for List Kits cold email campaigns, plugging them into the Smart Lead campaign, launching the campaigns, and then on future videos, I'm going to audit the responses, test new angles, optimize the campaigns, and basically give you guys a peek behind the curtain of every single step of the cold email process for List Kit. So without further ado, let's just get into it. For this particular video, I'm going to be writing scripts for our cold email setup offer where we will install a cold email system into somebody's business and then pass it off to them once it's ready. If you want more information on the setup offer for your business, click the link in the description. You can learn how we at ListKit can build you a cold email sequence with the domains, with the leads, with my copy and pass it off to you. But that's a story for another time. Let's get into it. So email one, um, we have a lot of volume going out, so I want to test a ton of variations. Um, and I like a little direct pitch these days where I go, hey, <clears throat> I'll skip the fluff and get right to it. Um, we can install a cold email system into your business that books, let's make myself a little bit smaller, that gets you booked calls and closed deals. You pay us one time, one upfront fee, and we'll handle everything from the domain setup to the list building and the copywriting. Would you be interested in learning more? I actually wanna change this up a little bit and instead of talking about the actual service delivery, and then I wanna switch it to the fact that they're gonna get 100% ownership over the system we build for them. And then you own the system in-house, right? No more paying expensive agency retainers. Um, would you be interested in learning more? Okay, that's all good. I wanna do a 1B that goes a little something like this. Hey, I noticed you're in charge of company names, marketing efforts, are you booking calls from cold email right now? Let's just say, are you signing clients from cold email right now? The reason I ask is because we can install a cold email system into your business that books you calls and helps you sign new clients. Let's just say that gets you gets you booked calls and more closed deals. Let me know if you'd like to watch a quick video explaining further. Um, okay, another solid angle there. Let's do a 1C that kind of goes into more of the direct ask. Well, not even direct ask, like asking about um, a desire that they have which is more clients more clients for company name and apologies for not talking a lot on this video I'm just trying to lock in and write the copy because if you've ever worked with me or you've been on a call with me you know that once I start writing I just go right into the flow of it so that's what I'm doing here hey noticed you're in charge of company names marketing are you guys taking on more clients right now um, we can help you sign new clients consistently by installing a cold email system into your business, right? The whole, the whole premise is the same throughout. We're really trying to get them interested in the cold email setup offer and just going different ways, like different angles of pitching it, right? Like signing clients. Are you sick of agencies? Are you sick of expensive retainers, right? Going a bunch of different routes to arrive at the same point, hopefully that makes sense. You want to test a bunch of different offer angles and different instances of your offer so you can find a winning angle. And once you find the winning angle, which you will see on a future video, once I find a winning angle, what happens next? You just double, triple down on that messaging and continue to book more calls. I'm gonna throw in a Neuromint here so we can lock in. Unofficial sponsor, Neuromint Caffeine Mint, best creation of all time, highly recommend. You only pay us one upfront fee and won't have to rely 
on Shitty Lead Generation Agency ever again. And yes, I'm literally saying this in the cold email because what I've noticed recently is if you let your personality shine through a little bit, it translates much better and you get a lot better replies because people are human and they appreciate humor and, you know, people being their authentic self. So I'd like to throw in a little bit of out of the box language, if you will, to try to get them interested. Would you like to watch a quick video explaining further, right? And then let's do a 1D. Hey, are you sick of being pitched by lead generation agencies who, who promise, you know, 20 calls or who promised the world and can't deliver a single booked call. If you are, let me know if you'd like to learn how we can install a cold email system into your business that you have 100% ownership over. So you never have to work with a lead Okay, so that's all the email one variations I'm gonna do. I might add in some other ones because we have so much volume to the point where I wanna test like eight to 10 angles. Just because we have tens of thousands of leads going out, I have the volume that necessitates a higher um, degree of A-B testing, right? If you only have 2,000 leads a month, don't do eight variations in your email one, do like four or three, right? So the more volume you have, the more wiggle room you have to test things. So that's just a piece of recommendation there. Email 2A, let's just go right for the pitch. We can install we can build a cold email system into your company names, in-house marketing. Um, you only pay us one time to build the system and then you own an asset brings you booked calls and closed deals. And then our, our setup offer is really affordable. It's 1500 bucks. I'm literally gonna say mind if I send over more info and pricing. Literally, I want them to ask me what the pricing is because they're gonna be like, wow, that's extremely inexpensive compared to what everybody else is paying. So true to the point where I literally wanna say we can build a cold email system into your business for a one time fee of 1500 bucks. Most lead generation agencies charge at least 1500 bucks as a tech fee to start your campaigns, then bill you monthly, right? You pay us <clears throat> one time and you get a lead system that can that'll help you sign more clients for years to come right open to a quick call to learn more so like I'm literally just going right for the kill here and stating the price right up front only because the price is part of what sets us apart if you're really expensive do not list your pricing in your cold email it's not gonna work but I'm literally going outside of the box here and we have other campaigns running, so I'm literally testing some of the most creative angles I can think of because we have the, the traditional campaigns. We can book you eight to 10 calls, right? We have that running. The purpose of this video is to kind of give you guys a perspective shift of like, you can get really outside the box with your campaigns and it's gonna work, right? Email three, I recorded a quick video <clears throat> explaining how we can build a cold email system into your business. Um, that you have 100% ownership over. Mind if I share the video here? Email 3B. Um, let's do, I put together a quick video explaining how you can book calls and close deals by having us install a cold email system 
into your business, right? I'm going to start with three emails in a sequence. I'm going to add on to this over time. Once prospects reach that third step, I'll add in an email for add in an email five. But for now, for the sake of this video, I want to do three steps um, in the campaign. And I want to plug these into um, this campaign here. I guess I already had copy loaded up, but I want to restart. Okay, here we go. Ready? Email one. Um, grab all this. Plug it in. Make sure it's formatted. Subject line. Email one B. Whoops. Email one B. Email one C. Right, so I'm just adding variations to the first email in the sequence because otherwise they're going to be listed as follow ups. Um, This is actually so another thing that you should look out for is when you're loading the stuff into smart lead or wherever you're sending cold emails if the line looks a little bit long like this just delete part of it and make it easily digestible because chances are if you're skeptical of it somebody reading it in their inbox is not going to want to read the whole thing so that's a quick lesson there um, email two. wait four days and i'll plug in these email two variants grab them here plug it in boom boom really simple it's already formatted for me I don't have really any text replacements here that I have to worry about. Um, plug in to B and then plug in email three, which is a three day gap um, from email two. Grab email three. Grab email three B. And we are. golden save the changes go to the next step whoops dun, 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 dun. oh that's why okay I guess all my copy just deleted so here's the fun reality of setting up campaigns sometimes this happens I'm gonna go plug them back in and I'll be back all right, we're back. The sender accounts, I already have the domains set up here. We have a ton of cold email domains through through ListKit. We have literally 2,600, but just set up whatever domains you have, add them here, schedule your campaign in New York. Literally don't change any of these settings, save. And then before you launch your campaign, you wanna make sure that all the text replacements look good. Um, the company name text replacement's good here. Um, but yeah, make sure that anywhere that you have a text replacement like this, um, that you just input all that correctly and it looks great in the final review so that you don't have any text replacements going out as emails where it literally says, hey, notice you're in charge of company names, marketing efforts. We don't want that. Everything's good. Campaign started successfully. Let's see how these do. That's a live breakdown of me writing a cold email sequence for ListKit on the fly. Hope this was valuable. I'll see you on the next video where I actually go over the results and audit the results and see how we do.